Super Day 420, where are you? guys i am 22 tiger dude and i am here to review the film insidious chapter 2 i want to thank my brother super j420 for making a cameo in my intro by the way insidious chapter 2 stars patrick wilson rose Byrne, and barbara hershey the film starts basically right off where Insidious ended. I honestly haven't seen the original Insidious film. I've seen the final 10 minutes of Insidious, but like the rest of the movie, I haven't. I will see the first Insidious soon though. This movie is about when Patrick Wilson, he becomes possessed and there was this childhood secret that gets dangerously connected into the spirit world wow for james want to have two films come out in the same year that is so damn impressive i thought this was a lot of fun i do think the conjuring is the better film but insidious 2 i gotta say even though i haven't seen the original film yet other than the last 10 minutes of it i just had fun it was just really good james one first of all the dude is a master at camera work this film has some of the greatest camera work I've ever seen. I love the techniques that James Wan used. Insidious 2 is not a scary film. It's more for the mystery genre than the horror genre. Don't worry, you'll still get some creepy moments in this film. But to me, this is more of a mystery film. The acting in this film is amazing. Patrick Wilson does a terrific job in this film. And the way he acts all sinister in certain moments, it's just, oh boy, it's creepy. But he was awesome here. Rose Byrne, who is such a beautiful actress, it's like the more films I see her in, she just gets more attractive. She does a very good job here, and I enjoyed her performance. And she wasn't one of those typical stupid characters you see in horror films. She's actually one of the more smarter characters. And how she was handling situations was well done. She was brave and I just really loved her character. I was rooting for her actually. And honestly, she's probably my favorite character in this movie. Not because I think the actress is attractive, which she is. But I just thought the role she had in the sequel was just very entertaining. We also have Barbara Hershey and she was enjoyable here. The paranormal investigators... Those guys were hilarious. The cinematography in Insidious 2 is just so beautiful. It looks just groundbreaking and I was just so blown away by how the cinematography looks. And Insidious 2, I will be honest, yeah there are creepy moments and all, but to me this is more silly than creepy. When they go for the creepiness in Insidious 2, it's usually played for silliness, comic relief in my opinion and I think James Wan did that on purpose just so you guys could have fun. This movie does have a nice sense of humor. It's not all seriousness. You can have a lot of fun with Insidious 2 and it's nice to be silly with the horror film but make sure you have a good storyline to back it up. And most horror films when they get silly it doesn't work and that's because it has a shitty script but with Insidious 2 it has a well done storyline and Insidious 2 definitely nailed the silliness well. I was okay with the fact that the movie was more silly than creepy. They would make me laugh. My theater, which was packed as hell by the way, people were just laughing and it wasn't because it was scary, maybe a few times, but for the most part my audience was really laughing because of how silly 
the creepy moments were and I was the same way. The film really nails that just so well. The mystery in Insidious Chapter 2 just intrigued me so much. It was just amazing. I was in my seat the whole time going, okay, what's going to happen next? How is this going to unfold? I was so into the story writing and it says too, it's just a lot of fun. It's just really intriguing and it's just so damn cool. If I have to say my flaws with Insidious 2, while I enjoyed the silliness, I feel like a few times the movie gets a little too silly. It gets a little repetitive. It's like, okay, this is silly, but I think you're kind of overdoing it a bit, James Wan. I thought there was a little bit too much screaming here. Like, some of the screaming wasn't very necessary. And, like, during the creepy moments when there's, like, this ghost mother pointing and screaming, it felt out of place. So there are a few creepy moments that just felt out of place and a bit awkward in my opinion. Insidious Chapter 2 was definitely well done. Bad news though is that James Wan is not directing Insidious Chapter 3 because of the fact that he is retired from the horror genre. I really wish he at least directed Insidious Chapter 3 before he left. The ending of this film does leave a cliffhanger to a third film. Please, please don't suck Insidious Chapter 3. Let's see how the next director goes for 3. I'm going to give Insidious Chapter 2 3 out of 4 stars. In my opinion, it's a very worthy sequel. Subscribe to my channel, comment your opinion on this film, like and share this video, follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I am 22 Tiger Dude, don't forget that I will always have TAGA POWER!